Good afternoon, everyone. We are coming to you from just north of Okta, Ohio. We're going to go meet up with Storm Chaser Davy Jones and come up with a plan where we're going to go. Uh, this area, all around the southwest Ohio area, looks to be like where we're going to get something. We don't know if we're going to get a tornado, but they're really looking at large hail, damaging winds, so maybe we'll get a tornado. At least down this way, it's wide open. There's, it's not very populated, so that's a good thing. He was watching last night, too. How are you doing today, Chubbs? We are out in southwestern Ohio getting ready for these possible tornadoes, storms to come through about 7 or 8 o'clock. So going to be live for a little while before we get any action. Uh, we just had some precipitation go through and it's starting to clear out and recover nicely. Hopefully it destabilizes enough that we get some storms. That's what we're hoping for. Things have definitely changed on this, the forecast with this a little bit. It's not quite as ominous in the Ohio area. Um, We're looking more Kentucky. Kentucky. Which we're kind of not far from. We're kind of getting to an area where if we need to, we can shoot south. We were on this road, right? No. We didn't go this far. We have never been on this road. We just went through an area that was hit by... Was it an EF2? I think it was an EF2. Yeah. Um, about a month ago. It was on our first chase out track. here. Yeah, when the ones hit up near Chicago. And then, then Ohio got hit in the middle of the night, early morning. It was one we, uh, we think we were talking about it near Springfield, Ohio, back in, I think it was what, middle or no? That would have been, what, the end of February? Yeah. End of February. So a month ago, yeah. So anybody that's watching uh, for Josh, I'm not sure he's going to do a stream today. Um, Probably not because he is with Landon uh, that has his own stream. It's called Weather at a Glance. Weather at a Glance. So if you want to go over there and watch, um, they should be getting on the road here shortly. Josh had to work till three and then he had to fly north, pick up Landon, and now they're heading west. Well, I'm not even sure if he picked up Landon yet, but... Probably. He was just about to last we talked to him. So it should take them about three and a half hours to get out this way. Uh, we're probably not going to be meeting up with them, um, which might be better in the long run because they will uh, we'll have more coverage for things if things start... Fire. Yeah, the sun's really coming out up here. This may actually be like a giant feeder band. <laughs> yeah. But we're under. So right now we're going to meet um, Davy and his mom, Storm Chaser Davy Jones. If you want to give him a. This will be our first time of officially meeting him. Yep. Give him a like. Make sure, because we all want to support each other. Make sure you subscribe to his channel too. He 
he will be at our Storm Chaser meet and greet in July. Uh, the 19th and 20th, we are doing a Storm Chaser meet and greet at the opening weekend of Twisters at the Drive-In Theater in Mount Pleasant, PA. There will be eight chasers slash teams coming um, to show their equipment, talk to the kids and parents about storm safety. So if you want to check that out, you can see that on our Facebook page. We have information about it. If you feel like driving to Pennsylvania, meeting a bunch of us. Let's see, Paige will be there, uh, Tornado Pagey. We will be there, of course. Um, Davey, Storm Chaser Davey Jones will be there. Uh, it's Dutchman Chasing, that's what he goes by. And let's see, Tyler Berry will be there. And we're hoping Noah Deer comes. He committed, but he is driving up from Kansas, so I'm still hoping he makes it. He's a meteorologist, and he was an extra in the movie, so that's pretty cool. He was in Twisters. And Landon's going to be there. Um, and Logan, Logan Esrich. So, which he's out here by us right now. Yeah. And oh, and Dean, B. Dean Barry. Which they're he's both. Also, we, they're together. We think they got hooked up. Yeah, they're just kind of east of us. West of us. West of us. I don't know my directions right now. <laughs> so, we're starting to get some uh, clearing out here. Hoping this uh, rain that moved through, we can just um, kind of recover from that here. This must be that. Uh, this must be the trailer to that MCS that went through that we're under right now. There are some storms coming out of um, Illinois yeah. that are coming this direction. So that's what we're thinking is going to there is a lot. fire up these possible tornadoes. A There's a chance for a possible long track tornado or two, but now they're talking more into Kentucky, but we'll see. The low level jet's cranking right yes, here. Yes, it is. You can hear it. That's what watching, Davey said. I was watching flags as we're driving. You, you can, can hear, hear it. That. Yeah. yeah. It's coming head on at us. There's a good flag right up here on the left. That's a good thing. Especially if it's warm, moist air. Which I'm hoping it is. Temperature's going up 64. We were at 70 with a dew point of 60. 70 over 60, but. Um, yeah. Half a mile. Yeah, that was more out towards Columbus area. Nice, clear skies, but I'm sure the precip is there now. Let me get the octa. I'm going to put my stuff up. Yeah, me too. I'm going to get my camera ready. Yeah. And I'm going to put the, what you call it, the cap castrum up and see what we're actually getting. Take the next right onto Greenview Drive. Actually, that precip is already through Columbus. Really? Seriously? Yep. Um, guess what? Tornado watch. Where at? Here. In 1,000 feet. I didn't turn see right that prior. I don't know when that came north. out. They didn't even I mean, do the... a discussion or anything that I saw. Nope. I mean, when we were at Love's, I was looking at the discussion. There wasn't a watch. Was there? Uh uh. It was southwest of here. Right I wondered if they did right they just the extend the one we were. Ramp. Probably. I'm not seeing them unless it just came out. Turn right onto the US 35 East Ramp. Continue on US 35 East for seven miles. Yeah, 
Yeah, we are just inside a watch. Where is it from here? Southwest. Or Tornado south? watch. Which way is it? Yeah, from southwest here? from here.
10 miles. Uh, you gotta find a turnaround. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> I thought it was like gonna be one of those, well, as soon as you go under the bridge, it was gonna have me get off. No, guess not. Unbelievable that that just did that to me. There has to be a turnaround somewhere, because that's going to put us 20 miles then. Yeah, yeah, that's another, that, that adds 20 minutes to our trip. I cannot believe that just did that to me. How do you get to all this stuff? Off that exit. Oh. That's Interstate 71 down there. I think. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe, yeah, I think that is. Just keep on looking for a... Yeah, I'll try like I'll do it in front of a trooper. Nah, you can see pretty far. There's got to be something. That's why I hate GPSs, because they lie to you all the freaking time. <laughs> Get in the middle lane. There was literally only one other lane to our right, and I was in the middle lane. <laughs> of those warehouses. Jeez. Probably freaking Amazon. Look at that. I know, right? That's what we were under. Yeah, it looks like a feeder band. Continue on Ohio for the Doesn't it? Pretty it's pretty way. Actually, it looks like a shelf cloud almost. Yeah. We're gonna have to see what that is. That's gotta be like a, a bound. Uh, gotta be like an outflow boundary or something. <sighs> I feel bad that like we just got the live start and we're already stopping and probably be outside the vehicle for a minute. Uh, that's okay. Where's the Nader Bob Hauser wants to know? Super fan Bob, we haven't seen you in a while. I was Where giving him back last night. Oh, were you? <laughs> at the meeting, yep. <laughs> Where's this Starbucks at? Oh uh, yeah, we weren't even looking for it. I was trying to avoid it. Said half, oh, come on. Right there. On the right. Let me go to it first. Yes. I think that's right here. Yeah, there's a drive through so we can just do that. Ay, ay, ay. What do you want to go drive yes, through? Yes, please. Right? So get two of them. Okay, I'll reload. See, you won't complain then. <sighs> Sorry, guys, we have to stop. I need something cold to drink. We'll be there soon, Davey, we promise. You might want to tell them. I got to run back in the restroom anyhow when we get there. The okay. Two mango dragon fruits. Yeah. Yeah, can I ha get two Trenta mango dragon fruit refreshers, please? 
Water, please. Okay. That's it. Thank you. I smell french fries, too. What the heck was that? <laughs> I think there was like a little bottle or something on the ground. That I just... And then Bob said it didn't notify him we were live. Well, what's up with that? And he said, get her her drinks. Well, I'm getting her her drinks. He said, get her four drinks. So she doesn't have to stop again. Hello. Not yet today, but it's possibly coming this evening, so. <laughs> uh, that's bad time, so keep your eyes, dude, be aware oh, yeah. of what's going on. Could get really bad. Yeah. That's what they're talking about. So. It could get really bad, so just be careful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys too. <laughs> got to go to the bathroom here, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Do the best you can. Right. This building looks pretty substantial, so. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. it. That's it. You guys got any idea when the bad weather supposedly is supposed to start? They're what, six? Six, -ish. six seven ish. Somewhere in that area. Several different times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's some. It things. looks like eight o'clock targeted here. Yeah. So. There's stuff like over in southern Illinois just coming into southern Indiana that's coming this way, so. We're keeping an eye on it, trying to figure out where we're going, so. Right. <laughs> Here you go, you guys. Stay safe. All right, thank, thank you. You too. Have a great day. You too. Thank, thank you very much. All right, now we need to get to the Loves, which is over yonder somewhere. I don't know. Where's the TA? I'm going to go right to here. It's down to the right down here somewhere. I'm going to go up here because it looks like there's some kind of a ramp that I don't want to accidentally get on makes me go 10 miles again. Yeah, right. right. Let's follow my armored car there. Take the next right onto Ohio 435, old US 35. Look at that, Brinks. Ask him if we can get, mile, turn left get a... Can, we, can we get a, an advance? Yeah, that's what was the word I was looking for, an advance. Be like, it is my, it's my company. Like, I got, I got ID. <laughs> Says it's our company. All right, we're gonna meet up here with Davey, kind of get an idea what's going on. And like we were saying, Josh is, he's coming out of, out of PA right now, so he's got a little bit of a ways to get here. We left at 10 o'clock this morning, so. But we've stopped a couple times just checking out everything, so trying to get an idea. So we shall see. But yeah, so we're on Interstate 71. I think we're kind of close to Washington Courthouse here at Xenia, Ohio. So we're gonna... Fayette County, we made a wrong turn. Oh yeah, that's right, we are in Fayette County, Ohio. Yep. Josh is a 911 dispatcher for Fayette County in Pennsylvania. Kind of sort of work out of Fayette County. Turn right, we do then cover turn part left. of it. We cover Westmoreland and Fayette County. Our EMS service. All right, let's find Red Car. Red Car? That, no, that's not him. He has a red car. Take the next left, then turn right. Literally the only red car here. Davey, where are you? But that's an Ohio plate. You might want to yell at him on Zillow and see where he's at. Over there? Over there by the dog park thing. Alright. I'll zip around here. Maybe this way. I love all the cars that are parked. Yep, about him. We will be right back with you guys. We're going to go Your yell at Davey. On the right. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, guys, we'll be right back. Hang tight. Yep. I'm going to pour my drink first. If I can get it open. Perfect fit. He's already in Bentleyville. You're gonna have to throw the hurry on. You gotta be under the gun. I need camera back. Alright. Yeah, those storms down near Illinois, I'm thinking of what's gonna be the ones making it there this way. I think those are ours.
get some equipment set up, guys, and we're gonna. Yeah, sorry that uh, we're not talking so much. I might get you out here and introduce you to Davy and such. Do you have any garbage? I do not. Tell Josh we're met up with Davey. Camera's ready. I turned up. We ended up meeting up with Davey down here near Washington Courthouse. Gonna make some decisions. All right, like I said, we're trying to get out there somewhere. We're dealing with a lot of really stupid truck drivers who are almost trying to wreck each other and then wreck me. So I don't think so. And we're not even quite the Washington PA yet, so we're trying. I gotcha. Yeah, just keep pushing, keep an eye on that stuff coming at you. Something might pop up. Right now, Jared, we are in Okta, Ohio, down near Washington Courthouse. I'm going to take you out of the car and have you meet Davey and his mom. Say hi. Hello, everybody. Storm Chaser Davey Jones, Dutchman Chasing. You know me. <laughs> and his mom, Ann. Howdy. <laughs> hi, Jimmy Miller. So we're getting the vehicles ready. Already. That's good. That's real good. Do you think we should head more southwest? Yeah. Even towards Xenia. <laughs> Did you? Tomorrow's the 50th anniversary. Is it really? Yep. If you all don't know, 50 years Isolation. ago. No, <laughs> no, the F5 tornado. Oh, I thought you guys no, no, no. Like, no. no. I can't be that old. No. We're only 50. Yeah, I know. That's awesome. Fifty years since that. Yep, 50 years, 1974. I was a year old. So, yeah, we remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, uh, we were in a, the duration of 2012. 
Do you remember that one? It started in Illinois and came the whole way down through Virginia? Well, actually, I think I was still in New York. Okay. I'm yeah. Virginia. We were camping in a campground. In yeah, in Virginia. Blowing Springs. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, QLCS tornado uh -huh. came that warm through the campground. Beautiful though. Yeah, That's yeah, beautiful. you don't want to be there. Now. We thought it was honestly like a single storm. Yeah. And then we kept driving and driving and driving. Like, yeah, and nothing stopped. It was just cold trees. We, and we, and we yeah. saw the sky it was getting purple, then it turned green, and we're like, what's going on? Yeah. Um, our weather radio was only talking about the heat. Yeah, not anything like wind or rain. Nope, nope. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah, right. We had to take shelter in the middle of an open field because the trees were falling everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, there were trees down on tents, on campers. It was horrible. Yeah. Yeah, and we left like right after. I was like, I just want to go home. And the further north we got, the more damage. It's crazy. All right, I'm going to put you guys back in the truck. What is it? 66 over 60. So right now we have temps 66 degrees. 2.60? Oh yeah, that's not good. 66.6 .6 degrees. What's the wind speed? Uh, 7.4, 11 there. I think we're down in a little bit of a valley here. Because I'll tell you what, when we were coming, just getting ready to get on uh, <laughs> 35 is the way we came across, I was ripping over there. Yeah, under that... It was, we wow. were right under that boundary over there, and it was ripping through there. So, Chris's Kestrel is Bluetooth, so he can see everything on his phone. Yeah, and of course my phone just went blank. But yeah, I can see. Ah, good. I'm glad the temperature went up. <laughs> <laughs> right? 2.60.4. Yep. Barometric pressure. Very cool. I'm gonna yeah. put them back in. So I think we're gonna have to target a little more southwest of here. So if you all wanna go give a like to Davey's YouTube channel, it's Storm Chaser Jones. He's Dutchman chasing. Uh, beating berries out here. He has a YouTube under Keystone Prime. Logan Esrich is with uh, Beating Berry right now. He has uh, Storm Chaser Logan Esrich at PA Weather Chaser, I believe it is. That's his YouTube. Uh, Josh, he's on. X under Storm Chaser Josh Brinker, and of course ours is PA Storm Trackers. Landon is with Josh. He is going to be live streaming today since Josh is driving. Um, his YouTube channel is called Weather at a Glance, if you guys want to watch Josh at all. But anybody that's new here, please make sure you subscribe, like our channel, hit that notification bell so you know when we go live. But we're going to take a look at the models here and we'll be right back.
New text message from Morris Patty.
back. We're gonna be heading a little southwest of here to the Wilmington area. Looks pretty good. Sorry, anybody who was watching, I apologize. Shakani already did do that. There's a lot of open fields. I'll put that pause in. Oh, I lost my map. You know what I didn't do? What? Go <laughs> to the bathroom. But that's not that far. Well, I just pulled a twister move and about drove out of this gas station parking lot with my coffee on the top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been perfect. The only thing you missed is you gotta yell, it's the wonder of nature, baby. You sure that wasn't no tornado? <laughs> yeah, tell them all we're heading to Wilmington. Jumping us off the interstate. Did you sniff some dirt before you left? We're going green. Yeah, green is in marginal. I'm still in the marginal risk where I'm at, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means? You get tornadoes. Right? I agree, Logan. If I'm going to get tornadoes with cloudy skies and it's pouring down <laughs> rain right now, I'll be very impressed. I'm just going to stay here. Hey, marginals have overperformed this year, so I, I like green. Yeah, same here. Greenage. Maybe those tornadoes will. Oh, there's nothing on my tarno cover back there, is there, on like my side? I don't see anything. I think I got all my shit. You want to talk, tell the next Josh and them where we're at? In 1,000 feet, turn right onto the I-71 south ramp. Looks like we're going to head just in the Wilmington area to see what uh, we got going on. Continue on I-71 south for seven miles. We're looking at that cell that was going through Guthrie, Indiana right now, heading towards Greensburg, Indiana. Had rotation with it, so maybe looking to intercept something on that line. <laughs> not in the rain. Mom says not in the rain. Oh, would I love to. Unfortunately, every time I get up the lane, at least 80, someone cuts me off. And that someone's usually a truck or trailer. And then it'll be a cop car. There's a, a little cell fired out ahead of that line. Uh, That's what he was just yeah, Davey was talking about. Right now. Yeah. Out of that, but that's gonna be way south, probably. No, it's actually gonna go north of Wilmington. Really? Yep. Just north of Wilmington. But it can make a right turn. They all seem to make right turns anymore. There's one um, down in Salem that's coming right at us. Has a ton of lightning with it. Let's look at that one. It's kind of all by its own. That's a nice looking storm. You keep 
keep it going. Oh, and it's rotating. Where is that? Salem. Salem, Indiana. How far, like, is there somewhere that would look like it would be a decent intercept? Like, should we pick a target and try to go, or? I mean, it is not warned yet, but it is rotating. I mean, we're probably making the right decision heading a little more south. I feel um, like. Yeah. So, right now, it's... It's going to go northwest of Cincinnati. Right where you said before. <laughs> that Harrison. I keep talking about that area over there. And that's well, where we caught that one before. So, we still have to go south from where we are. And then we can get on the Beltway and go around Cincy and hit that that Harrison. Hopefully it'll hold together, but it's ahead of what's in the line, but it's all by itself in that line. Yeah. This one, that's rotating, but where is it heading? That's way north. Jeez. Anybody that's watching on the on the live has is watching the radars or anything and has any gut feelings, throw them our way too. We take oh, input. That one's really rotating. That one's actually coming right at us. That one at the south end of the line. I think we're actually going to go to the right area. They're both rotating. Well, like we said, we picked that because we can go any direction yeah. from there for now. And it's so. warmed. It's in. Oh yeah, that's really rotating. It's a Leopid, a Leopoid. Le I can't pronounce town names, but Leopold. Is that an no. L? Jaden's down there. No, maybe it is Leopold. I can't see. That's so little. Leopold, and it's coming right at us. Gotcha. Give it some time to mature, but look at that rotating. Oh my. Yeah. So. You said that's coming this way? Yes. Okay. That is coming right at... Well, it actually might go a little south of us. In two miles, take exit 58 for Ohio We might have to go south of Wilmington. <laughs> this wants to jump me off before the interchange down there. I wonder if it's going to set due to traffic. put that Humane Society in as a destination. It's going to jump me off this next exit and take me a back road it says due to traffic. Oh, but that one's getting a hook. Hook. I don't know. I just came up coming into Wheeling. I had to gun it on 470 off the truck ramp because nobody knows how to freaking drive in a fast lane. <laughs> Love it. Where they 
go and their motion and everything. And if you need to cut south, maybe out of Columbus or something to get ahead of them. get off 
stuff here. This storm, we're never gonna get those storms. What are you thinking? Maybe just get off here. <laughs> Connie says bail here and look again. <laughs> I can't, this is so hard to pick a target. You don't understand. I gotcha. Because we're getting close to Cincy, I don't want to get into all that traffic and, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. I mean, we don't want to be in a metro area for a storm. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to, I'll zip in real quick to one of these stops real quick. You take a look and see. Yeah, I'm going to run into the restroom real quick too. I'm going to run in one of these truck stops real quick. I forgot to use the restroom at the Loves, and then uh, we'll take a look here and make make decision. <laughs> See, when you get old, you start forgetting to even go to the bathroom. <laughs> the next step, you just start wetting yourself. Sometimes I forget myself, right? I'm only 30, so I mean, jeez. I hear ya. What does it say exit only, right? You see what I'm gonna be like when I'm your age then at that point. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> This is a 1.9. I expected something a little bigger than this, but we'll see. You run in to do that. You staying out here? Yes. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try and look. Oh my god. That thing has such a, oh my god. We can't concentrate on oh, that. We I know, I know. Quick. We're never gonna catch that. I'll throw this up for a minute and a half while I'm in there. See what the difference was just in that little bit. All right, focus, focus.
Now, I'm thinking maybe a little north of here. Look at this storm well, coming we're, out. We were just looking, there's, look at those little cells that are coming That's this what I'm way saying, there. this Lovett? Yeah. That's a good cell out in front. I gotta go to the bathroom. Right I know, there. but it's coming right at us. Okay, we, that's what we just said. We're gonna stick here for a second and okay. see which way they're going. All Maybe right. this isn't a bad spot. Okay. Jane, do you mean right now or where are we based out of? <coughs> because we are out of Scottsdale in Westmoreland County in Pennsylvania. Um, but right now we are in Wilmington, Ohio, awaiting these little cells that are just ahead of a line, a broken line. Um, there's a tornado warning. The tornado warning is in Indiana. It's radar indicated Nothing has been confirmed to be on the ground. Um, it's near the town of Carefree Town. And that's from the National Weather Service out of uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So get in your safe spots if you're in that area. This is moving northeast. East northeast at 55 miles an hour. Corydon, Moberly, Fredonia, Beechwood, White Cloud, Fairdale, New Middletown, Sulphur, Alton, Carefree, and Pilot Knob. If you're in any of those areas, take cover. Do not ignore any of these warnings today. We want everybody to be safe. We are inside the tornado watch right now. We're in Wilmington, Ohio. Um, now that we're looking, some cells are popping out in front of this line and they're coming right at us. So I think we're gonna stay put right now. There's a storm if anyone is looking at radar that is in Lovett. That is heading our direction. There's also a really nice cell also heading right for us it's ahead of that well it's actually in the line but it's broken it's all by itself in crothersville three quarter inch hail and it just got tornado warned so we need to keep an eye on that crothersville Brothersville, Indiana, southeastern Jackson County, and south central Indiana, southern Jennings County in southeastern Indiana. This is radar indicated rotation. For a tornado warning with quarter size hail, North Vernon, Vernon, Crothersville, and Paris Crossing. If you're in any of those locations, get to your safe spot. Like I said before, do not ignore these warnings today. 
It's gonna get bumpy. I'll be right back.
if I should put my camera up yet or not. Not quite yet. All right, guys. We apologize. We're going to get on 68 and head straight south. And we have uh, possibly a new target. We're looking at Mount Oreb. Or Chase Town. Or Chase Town. Is Chase Town on the way to Mount Oreb, maybe? I mean, look. I have to get my phone out. Where did my. Oh. Alright, I need to do something. Hold on, give me one second. I'm having. There's what I needed. Who's that? I think that was him. I'm having trouble with my phone right at the moment. It's acting completely crazy. Chase Town is on the way. Is it? Yep. <laughs> it's straight down 68. All right, let's go. I think the exit's back behind us. I think you're right, but I don't really care. It's telling me to go this way. I think this is 68. Continue on yeah, US 68 is, North for three quarters of a mile. Why? What? What is it trying to do? Let me put it in mine. I think it's trying to turn me around at a street or something. Okay, now it's... Turn right onto US 68 South. <laughs> it's losing its shit. Continue on US 68 South for five miles. phone is acting a fool today. Oh, wow, the couplet on that. Keep watching to make sure that we're not leaving something behind us that we shouldn't have. How's the live doing battery-wise and stuff, too? Because it's been unplugged for a while, huh? I can't even see it. It's a 71. I'll plug it in a little bit. Do we even have anybody watching at this point? Yeah, there's okay. 14 people. All 14 right. 14 people watching. YouTube and Facebook. So right now we're targeting, there's a couple tornadic cells that are coming south of Cincinnati and we're going to target those. Oh. We're heading that way. Sun, sun, sun. Come on. Uh, yeah, there's a new tornado warning, but it's going straight east. On that same one. Yep. Well, either way, we need to get south, I think. I feel like... Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll... This storm's rotating too. Um, There's those couple like cells out in front too. Yeah, that's the ones I'm watching. Yeah, so if something looks good that you think we're that's like in our range. It's starting to like we're definitely getting some convection here too. Like this was all very clear not too long ago and all of a sudden now it's getting a little cloudy. So I wonder if we're getting some stuff firing out ahead of this. Uh, there's some convection coming through northern Cincinnati right now, so we do gotta get south. I see that. That's wonder what that's what's going on right here. So we're too, still a too far yeah. north of that for all of that. Yeah. Because 
well and things like that, like almost too well for the stuff that you're watching. Once it gets closer, another tornado warning, pretty far south in the line. That's not going to come anywhere near us. It's going to go south of us. But my, if we get south. tornado warning is heading straight for that mountain. Right now, we changed our target for right now, we're heading towards Mount Orab, Ohio. That's O-R-A-B. See if we can get in front of one of those tornado warning cells. stuff back further do anything for Josh. What are the kind of crap are they running through? Flood warning, but yeah, we're, we're on there's actually he has like looks like pretty clear sailing until he gets out to this stuff. So the next rain he's going to run into is these storms. That's a pretty significant couplet. Yeah. Which one is that? The one we're kind of heading for? Or? Yeah. One coming on a Crothersville. What's the track on it? Like, it, what, is that the one going Mount Orb? I mean, it's way in the right. The only thing you got to remember too that we got to know a river down there that I don't know how many bridges are. If we need to go further south, you know. Yeah, that's that's coming at us. Both of those super or both of the tornado warnings are coming right at us. Okay. Are we heading the right direction then? Yep. Alright. You put me where you think's gonna be good. Right now I just have Mount Orb in my GPS, but Oh, look at a rotation on that one. That one's coming right out up up at us too. issue is we're going to go south of it. We'll be right between two cells that are one, two of them are mile, turn right tornado warned and south the one north, south, south of street. it is rotating. Okay, so they got a whole bunch in a row. Yeah. Alright. We'll have to be super wary. Yes, yes, Take yes. Take the next right onto US 68 South North South Street. everybody that's watching if you just tuned in or whatever we're heading for targeting some storms as she sits in Carothersville is that Ohio yet or no that's still no, that's that Kentucky, Indiana. Indiana, Indiana, Indiana coming into the Cincinnati area and we are targeting to, to intercept them just east of Cincinnati trying to stay out of the the metro area there. We're actually right in downtown Wilmington, Ohio right now, which happens to be where the National Weather Service out here is. Their office is right around here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. That tornado warning as of right now is heading we just right for Cincinnati. So if we get to 
that Mount Oreb or Chaser Town will be south of it. So, okay, and then we can approach it from yep. the south. That's, yes. I like that idea. Even if, like, if we get down south of it and it's, we still got some distance, we can even close the distance then between it. But... You know what? Shoulders starting to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Human barometer at work. I'm all good. I have a mug full of, full of Starbucks. I have one I haven't even started to drink yet. I got it. How Super long fan ago? Mike's on. Good evening, Mike. How are you today? Town, towns, towns. If you just joined us, Mike, uh, we're targeting some cells coming into the Cincinnati Metro. We're just east of Cincinnati. And we're trying to get to them. Josh is in hyper mode, trying to get out here. He's still probably got another two hours to get out. So what may happen is if we intercept them and they get by us, he'll be waiting for them. So we're gonna see how that goes. There's a tornado warning in Nashville. Oh my. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Way east of Nashville, just northwest of Knoxville. If you're in that area or know someone in that area. Sunbright, Huntsville. Perryville, La Follette. I know I can't pronounce these, but sorry. <laughs> I never claim to. Yeah, have the same problem, Ryan. Oh, yes. Right? You always get, you know, people have different ways of pronouncing stuff like that. You know, we have one of those towns near us, nobody ever knows how to pronounce Ligonier. Yeah, true. Or north for sales, because in, in most places it's Versailles. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna try to get down in front of these storms. I mean, all uh, ingredients are all here. Stuff is happening. We ended up definitely a little further southwest of where we thought we were gonna be. So, as usual, the terrain's a little crappier down here, but we'll deal with it. There are, like, the Mount Oreb area didn't look bad, but man, once you get going any direction from it, it doesn't look great. What do you mean, terrain-wise? Yeah, terrain-wise, when I was taking a quick look, when I had a moment. How do you look at that? Chaser. What's it called, Chaser Town or Chaserville? I can't remember now what he said. All right, so we're out of out of Wilmington now. I believe I see some targets ahead of us. Chase Town, that's Chase what it was. Chase Town. Chase Town. It's south of Fayetteville. Twenty-four minutes. Let's look at the terrain there. Heard us, we're heading for Mount Oreb and Chase Town of 
of all names. And I'm going to see what's happening there. We're getting in front of these ones that are coming out of Indiana. Oh, yeah, they love how did that warning. So. All right, I don't know if you saw, but the one warning is a confirmed tornado on the ground. Confirmed tornado on the ground. It is confirmed by law enforcement. It's the one near Florida. Yes, that's right the one that's coming east. right at us. Copy that. That's the one we're intercepting. Keep an eye on the tracks of those because maybe if you if we if it passes us and gets away from us, you're next line to catch it again. Mount Orb we're heading for actually doesn't look bad, but pretty much any direction from there doesn't look great. Just be safe. Will do you as well. By the looks of it, you guys have clear sail until you get to this storm, though. There's no rain between you and here. They should keep their eye on the northern storms too, a lot better. Because there is there still stuff going on north, a little bit north. Like gonna go north of Cincy or anything? Um. Losing some service here. Yep, unstable due to a weak network connection. Oh, of and, course. Yep. We're down in a river though, in a little valley. There we go. There. Yeah, there's one storm that's rotating north of Cincy, but it's still in Indiana. Okay. It's going to go way north. Well, that's the thing, though. Those are the ones Josh can be watching. You know, It's I mean, going way north. It's yeah. heading northeast, so it's heading towards Cleveland at this point. Well, I mean, still, that could be something they could catch, you know what I mean, when they just get this side of Columbus. is all of a sudden it's arcing like get a chance oh wow it's on about it's on that boundary yeah of, of some sort it's almost but it's not at least a, oh, that's there's a tornado signature on this one too Boy, that thing's holding together. The one we're heading yep. for. That's all we can do. We, we, we chose a target and we're going to go for it. Yeah. We have to get to Mount Ora because... I mean, it's, we still got some time. Oh, I'm I know. I'm watching it. We're only 24 miles from Mount Ora. Yep. It's telling it's saying 30 minutes to Mount Ora. Oh, really? Yeah. Let me put it in 
solution because I don't trust that track. It is, it's going northeast. It's still moving northeast. Yeah, so actually, where are we at right here? Chase Town. Chase Town. Where is Chase Town? I, right along this road somewhere. We stopped there. And yeah. decide we have to stop in Chase Town. Maybe that's a re there's a reason that's on our ground. <laughs> so we're big believers in uh, synchronicities. Synchronicities slash what would be the other word I'm looking for? The uh, fate. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> yeah, Chase Town. We're at right, 17 minutes. So it's about halfway to Mount Orr from yeah. here. Yep, yep, yep. So you think stop there? Yes. And decide. Um, my God, why am I? My brain went completely blank on the word. Observed by law enforcement, damaging tornado. Call. It's 50, 55 mile an hour stop motion. Ooh, that's fast. Tell them we're, at, we're stopping and chase time. Yeah, that's moving fast. Connie says it's a moving a little bit northeast, so she thinks we're going to stop in Chase Town, which we'll be would be absolutely appropriate. Is this our target storm we're looking at? Uh, I mean, is there anything between us? Don't say stop until we get there. We're trying. We're <laughs> almost to Zanesville. Give me a second. We'll send it your way when we're done with it. <laughs> Gonna stop just short of Chase Town because if we, if we want to look northwest at it, you know what I mean? Because it's heading northeast. Okay. We want to look northwest at it. We have to stop in one of these open fields. Put a spot in. Put a pin in your map if you want to get me to it. We'll go to it. Just do a SpongeBob filter feed. <laughs> I might have to. I'm passing the sheets right now. It looks so good. <laughs> Is that the sheets in New Concord? For sure. I think you guys are going to be surprisingly okay. I think when you get to Columbus, I think you're going to want to probably come down 71 and you might run into something. Yeah, and I looked at the maps already and there was a complete green the whole way around Columbus. So maybe everybody had the day off today. I don't know. Everybody went over early because of the weather. So we'll see what happens. But now I'm stuck by the truck trailer going super slow in the fast lane. <laughs> Fun times. Why won't this let me drop a pin? I do do Because you already have something in there. Okay. You got to back out. Yeah. All right. So we'll be just by the Salt Lake Creek. Do I, I want to keep going straight or not yes. down this 28, right? Straight. Okay. Okay. This is Midland. This is Fayetteville Perry. But it's just north of Chase Town. Oh, we can go. No, let's go south of Chase Town. Let's see what. Okay. If we have to come a little further north again, we can. Keeping in mind the right turn possibility if it's really keeping it stuck yeah, together. Yeah, I, I gotcha. Anybody on here? I haven't been able to check the comments lately, but Connie's really busy, so we appreciate you guys watching. I can't see the comments real well. Uh, we're kind of, kind of concentrating right now and definitely getting getting where we can see something for you guys. 
we really, 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 really are going to try today to get, get this right. We've been having some busts lately. I think today's not a bust, but it's all going to be getting in the right place at the right time. So we're shooting for that. Okay. Fire department completely staffed up, it looks like. Very, very rural. <coughs> out here. 15 minutes to a target, just south of Chase Town. Okay. This, I don't know, the terrain's getting a little... Oh no, this is going to be wide open field. Better. Oh, okay. Look. Oh yeah, I see that. I'll take it. Take it, take it. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. If not, we'll just have to go back north, which is only like two miles. There's another road. This is Westboro. That's where we're at now. I think we got on. Yeah, did it make a right turn? Uh, no, no, it's still northeast because they put the the longer warnings a little bit wider. Okay. So they're not 100% sure on that motion. question too though is I put that I put that Crichton in when I was we were stopped back there okay do we have any I don't think we can get over the, I don't know that there's any access I think I'm, like you almost have to go through Cincinnati to get across the river yeah unless there's something is that Georgetown is there anything to get across the river just thinking about trying to close the gap between us and that instead of waiting that long for it to come I don't think it's going to be that long. I'll take a CC. Man, there's a bazillion chasers on it. You know what? We need to figure out where it's going to cross the river at and be waiting there. Because everybody who's on it now will be... <laughs> will have to peel off of it at the river. And we can be waiting on the other side for it. Too, I can try to figure that out. Yeah, I don't know how, like, I also said I want to get cornered in the river either. But, is it gonna cross the river? That's the other side. What, it, it, where is Georgetown at? Is Georgetown in Kentucky or is that it? Um, it's actually, it's it's heading more east now. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, so it made a right turn. Um, it's going right up to keep moving. Yeah. Like, what's it say that, that Crichton or Williamstown? How's it tell you to get there the quickest? I'd have to back out on my map. T E N D E N. Kentucky? Yeah. That's an hour and eight minutes. Well, I'm thinking along the track to it somewhere might be. Which way does it take you, though? Does it take you into Cincinnati and down? Uh, just outside of Cincinnati on the Beltway. But if you want to go down there, we can just go down this 68 turns. What, where is, is, I'm sorry, Georgetown, is it across the river? Or is it on this side of the river? Straight south of us. It's on this side of the river. You want to go down to Georgetown? That's what I'm always wondering is go to Georgetown and then if we can go west from there. How far west can we go from Georgetown before we can't go any further? Uh, Probably not far. 68 actually starts turning east in Georgetown. In Georgetown. Yeah. But if you get down to 52, it runs right along the river. 
gotcha. Like, that's gonna be horrible down there for terrain. Yeah, I don't want to get. I don't. Well, the problem is, is like I think if we don't, like, as it's looking right now, <laughs> I think Georgetown's even gonna be in the crosshairs for this thing. Now that it's moving straight east, I don't even know if Georgetown's far enough south. Tornado's way up here. Okay. What am I looking at? I'm looking at something wrong. You're looking at the... There's the tornado. There's Brighton. Uh, There's Georgetown. They're all like straight in the line right in front of it. Am I crazy? Um, unless I think they might have worn this one and it's not updating on my map. I guess Georgetown is straight. What the heck? Straight east of it. Yeah. I mean, it is moving. You had trouble with that last time. Your thing not something. I remember you yeah. not getting a warning when you were supposed to or something. It is starting to move a little bit northeast. I think Georgetown would be a good target. Is, can we go west at all out of Georgetown? Or is the river in the way? Sorry, being a pain in the butt. Yes, you are. <laughs> or, or would Crichton be someplace like to go to to get to it? I'm not seeing Crichton. Crichton. Yeah, where is Cr that? C R I T T. Yeah, I, I get that. It's right I on 75. It and William. It's just north of Williamstown. So it's on the Beltway. Well, it's on 75 going down towards Louisville from Cincinnati. Oh. Um, we'll never make it there. All right. I, mean, I, I just told you that that Crittenden. Crittenden is an hour. Crittenden, yeah. I mean, all right, we're in Fayetteville. Well, it's going to be in that area before then. Right. So... find out where he is. Oh, jeez. Really? You waited till I got there and then decided to turn in front of me? <sighs> How you doing, Davey? I think I kind of lost you a little bit there. This, did I say it was Fayetteville? Didn't even, I'm so busy checking everything, I lost Davey. I was wondering where he was. Is he all right? Yeah, I hear him. Is his live on? Uh, so, my bad. Uh, I have Popo following behind me. I'm 
copy that. We just went through Fayetteville, so I don't know. We were gonna keep. We're, we think we're gonna keep moving south. Uh, get it, this uh, storm made a right turn, and it's going straight east right now. Yeah, I think it's we're going to end up going the whole way to Georgetown and then make a decision from there. Copy that. We are in Chase Town right now. Yeah, I'm just entering Chase Town also. Is there a picture? I can take a... Spot. There was a sign back there. Shoot. So I was wondering if there's a fire department or something. I think this is our part of our storm ahead of us, huh? Is it really stretching that far? It might be. I can't even watch, so I don't know. I can't even. I haven't even seen anything out the window. Well, what do you think? And then just try to get south of it. Let it. Let it come over to us. Can instead of trying to do too much closing. There's nothing happening behind us or anything. Like, really, I kind of been watching. Messy. So this down here is still our best. There's a set. storm straight ahead of us. Is that what we're looking at then? Yeah. It's, what's it doing? We're looking at the base of it. I think. Uh, yeah. Is it doing anything? Maybe. Maybe we were brought here for a reason to chase town. I don't know, it's not really rotating or anything.
I wouldn't even know how to cross the river. Is it tornado warm yet? Yes. I'm trying to find it on the radar. Yes. just south of the other tornado. Georgia, Georgetown, Kentucky is south of the other tornado warning. Oh, okay. Greenbush. Hour 35 minutes to get to that one in Georgetown, which is just north of Lexington. Which is that storm is it looks bad. It looks like a pretty bad tornado. Anyone around Lexington. Yeah. There's a little bit of rotation that looks just off to our southwest. Am I crazy about that? Uh, yeah. It would be on the storm is straight to our west, it would be on the south side of it. it looks like it's trying to Down there, that something that hammer, hammer fill. Yeah. yeah. I see the Georgetown is going to be bet right between both those of those. Two storms. Maybe we can look south and see it. I'm, uh, I'm actually uh, just past the Barnwell sign. I just passed the Dollar General, I think. Oh, yeah, you're right behind us. You're only a couple hundred yards, I think, behind us. This is Mount Oro. Yeah, I thought I saw you on that straightaway, but then it started raining and I lost you. <laughs> Right now, where we should go because if we 
head south from Columbus. Once we hit Chillicoff, we're, we're, we're out of luck through all the trees down there. So we need some stuff between like Cincinnati and Dayton to start firing and moving east. That way then we can oh, get ahead of those ones. Just storm, right above storm, the, the cars over there. It's going to probably be generally moving east-northeast, and we're like just south of that, probably right now. All right, I'll keep working with an eye on it. We're like a super hot slide. I even picked up a little bit more speed. Just trying to get some speed built up and knock off some time. This one so is I'm, still rotating. I'm just staying on 68, right? Yes. Like there's debris with it. The one we're going. ended up. Yeah, they're probably right on that tornado or something. Probably. Should we stop here and look? Do you think Georgetown is? Georgetown. Spent? Okay. I'm going with your gut feeling on that one. Because where are we right now? We are in Mount Oregon. We're right down. Oh. Is that another tornado warning? Yes, there's another tornado warning. I that's this one. Although, here might be a good area if we can find a field between here and Georgetown. Let me look at my maps. I don't have to see any of my maps. <laughs> you can look for a little bit. No, I gotta find out where we're going. See what this guy's doing that's in Georgetown right now. He's got a little bit of a RFD with it. Just just going through Georgetown right now. Hey, just letting everybody know Bryce Shelton reported on the Ohio River over the Indiana Kentucky State Line. They have multiple semi trucks flipped over the interstate 265. Multiple semi flipped interstate 265 on the Ohio River at the Kentucky Indiana border. That's not good. Nope. Not good at all. Also, we decided we're going to, when we get Columbus, we're going to draw south to Circleville. We're going to go to east to west right from there. You know what? We can't keep going further south. There's too many trees. We're going to make a right onto 774. Alright. And there's open fields that will look north. Stop 
somewhere up here and get our bearings a little bit. Yeah, um, I don't even know if we have to stop. Thanks, Amy. We apologize. Um, that, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're really concentrating right now because there's a pretty big tornado just turn, to our west. Turn right here for now, or, or what? Uh, this is that. Yeah. We're pulling this parking lot. Pulling this now. parking lot. Dave, you pulling in a parking lot right before 774. He's right behind us. Oh. Didn't see you back there. Okay. You look at the track. <sighs> what are we doing? What are we doing? The only thing I don't like is we are right on the edge of the watch. Like, is there? They didn't extend that. There was no watch in Ohio when the storm started firing. Yeah, there. I know, I know. Okay. Um, they didn't extend the warning on on that guy. See, the 774 is more open than going down 68. See all the trees in between 68? We want to be looking northwest. And there's this big area of trees. Okay, so if we went straight down 68, you have all these this trees. Cell, just north of Cincinnati. It does have some mild rotation. 774 is wide open. I see that, okay. So Yanker Town. Huh? Yanker Town. <laughs> what a name that is. Yanker Town but or Bethel. I, is that going to be far enough south? The it's going to be. coming right, right for us. I mean, probably going to pass just north of us. If that thing stays on the ground, that thing looks like a beast. I'm not going to lie. That couplet on it, yeah. Did you see the couplet on it? I mean, it's not super tight, but. That's this one still? It's still yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still liking it. I like the look of that storm. They and just haven't extended the warning. Maybe we just get down southeast of it. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking, look. Where are we? We're right here. Like head down to... Hammersville. Through. I just drove through all that. We did have a brief level, we think. Um, and it looks like it is starting to ramp up a little bit. But when I say there's a load of rain, there's a load of rain. That's fine. So it's rain wrapped? So HP rain wrapped. Oh, big time. If there was one, you wouldn't even see it, man. It's so much rain. Great. Great. Well, they, they didn't extend the tornado warning, but they... Yeah, you're talking about the one that's north of Cincy, right? I just no. Nope. The one we're looking at is south of Cincy. The one we're Yeah, that's the one I was just talking about that had some broad rotation on radar velocity scan. So, yeah, HP, oh man. But the one we're on is south of Cincy. Yeah, I'm looking. I think Georgetown is still, but you say it's a lot of trees. Yeah. But I also don't want to be right in the path of this thing either. Which way is that sucker moving? It's going to go north of us. Look. They dropped that tornado warning on the storm. We were just watching. I think it's cycling. It it's cycling. I think it's cycling, though. It has the perfect look. I was just getting ready to say recycle. What one are you guys talking about? The one south of Cincy? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can go to Georgetown if you want, but no, I don't know what you're going to see there. Lightning's ramping up on that one north of 52. I'm just driving out of it, so. No, I think this one's the one yeah, we want. where we are right now. We're in a good spot for both of them. I mean, if we just let them move a little bit more to see if they're going to turn right or continuing east northeast, I'd say just sit right here for a little bit. That's fine. 
Yeah, I think you might be right. Connie said if the 774, it really opens up down here. Maybe we'll go a little bit little bit west here just to see if we can get a good good view. Hey, that sounds good. I'm, I'm uh, trying to look on maps at the moment myself. They're starting to watch a storm that just went severe warning just north of Dayton, Ohio. So we're keeping an eye on that, but I think we're still going to kind of stick to our target and try to get a little bit south where there's some clearing and then fly west. Sounds like a good plan. Y'all see the last radar scan for that one north of Cincy? I did not. How about that fight road has a nice west view, west north or northwest view? I'm trying to see where else. Even more so down by that Route 7, or 1, I'm sorry. New Harmony, Shiloh Road. That's all wide open, at least to the northwest and stuff. Somewhere down in that area would be awesome uh, if we could find This space. one's tightening up again. There's a cemetery completely surrounded by trees. Of course it is. That storm I'm watching going north of Dayton right now is near Richmond, Indiana. And it's moving northeast. So maybe this rest, maybe something will form between there and you guys down in sitting there since he maybe something will move our way. Yep. That's what I'm thinking, bud. Trying to find something like a somewhere to sit out in that day where it's all open at out there, but I don't know. Wait, literally just gonna have to be in the middle of a road or something. And if by that intersection of New Harmony Shiloh, I think that might be how far even is that? It's only five minutes. I'm thinking that that New Harmony Shiloh Road in this 774 would be a good place if we can just get off the side on that Shiloh Road. I mean, you think we're... I'm northeast of Cincinnati right now, and we got clearing with 70 degrees. Wow. <laughs> and monster cumulus building up right off the left of me, so the north of me. So Josh might even want to go north of Cincy. Oh, what's that doing? That might be the cell maybe uh, Josh is talking about, possibly, or maybe the one that's just going over uh, Cincinnati now, probably. <coughs> Fuck. What? Watch language. Oh, sorry. Bummer. <laughs> what? I'm worried that this... It's starting to steal this one's thunder. So look how it's building out in front of it. That's our guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, if you want to do that, Chris. What's that guy down Wait, south doing? What? This guy? Yeah, that's our storm, but I'm wondering if this one's going to start stealing. Look how far out it's extending. Like your inflow is going to get cut. Unless it's dry, it's pulling straight in. They said it was going to pull but north. But even here now, we're in pretty cold air. Like, we lost a lot of because of this stuff out in front. I wonder if that's going to start killing it. It didn't with that. That's what he's saying. He's northeast and he has clear skies and... 70. He just came through that cell. They totally dropped the warning on it, but let me look. That's what I was wondering. I'm looking at that one down Newcastle. Look how much it's rotating, though. Look at that. 
We can play it and try to play it for a little bit and just keep an eye on that one a little further south. And where Where's this new castle? It's the next tornado warning down to the southwest. That one. Yeah, but that's been going for a while. That you'd have to cross the river. Good luck. Because I couldn't find anywhere to cross. Yeah, like, what's the name of that town there? Cynthiana. Let me check that on maps, what way it takes me to that. Okay, so this rotation is going to go north of us as of right now. The one we're on. Yes. Same by 7 o'clock. It's got an know. hour. That Cynthiana is an hour and a half. It's gonna, you know, if we want it, if we end up wanting to go after that one, I got a, at least a direction we can go. Okay. It's not too far out of the way. It's actually, you just keep falling at 60, bait on to 62, and then there is a bridge across the river by Morenberg and Aberdeen. That's our crossing point that's east of here. So it's kind of a safer, you know. Yeah. If that turns into something. How far is that to where you want to I get mean, to? I mean, I put Cynthiana in, which would be way south of it. It says an hour and a half, but we obviously wouldn't go there. I just wanted to get that direction. Yeah, if you up to, well, maybe we'll go out and try to check out what our view looks like from this one spot. I'm a little worried that that storm to the south that's tornado warned is going to start taking the thunder out of this one. Um, I was looking at trying to get down to it. If we stay on this 68 down to 62 and we can cross the river down there near Aberdeen and get down in front of that one. Uh, something just to keep an eye on. So I feel like I don't want to get too far from this 68 because it's a good road to get us where we need to be. I agree. This is eight north south. Especially north of us goes tornado warrant. And then we can just quick. But yeah, I'm down for that. We can go uh, down this way. Alright, I think that's the plan for now. Is that okay? That sounds good to you too. Just go down that five minutes down here to where yep. it's open. Yeah. See what we can see. Boy, that dumped a lot of water pretty quick. Hey, just warning. There's a warning that just went out. Spears warning that just went out for Interstate 71 between Columbus and Cincinnati. So we're trying <laughs> to get down. We're going to try to get a little south to get ahead of it. That's where we just were. Really? Yeah, that's where Wilmington is. Wasn't it on 71? Yeah. Okay, just be careful. Uh, we're down. I don't Turn even... right onto Ohio 774 West. Yeah, we're gonna be down near, like, between near Georgetown Bethel's where we're at. If you, but uh, yeah, you guys want to catch something up north there? Keep an eye on that. Where is he? I don't know if he's on maps yet or not. But... Ask him his location. All right, let's get get down here and see what we can see. Continue so on Ohio 774 West for seven miles. I missed that last transmission. <laughs> South Carolina ambulance. Josh, where are you at? How are you doing? Washington Courthouse is where we just started, started in Wilmington. That's where we started it. Okta. Yeah. Real close to it. Tell them that. Say, 
Mom said Octa. <laughs> yeah, that's Octa. That's real close to Washington Courthouse. So, um, I can't remember. I know in Chilkoot, all the four lanes seem to stop. I can't remember what the roads are like. Circleville over to Chilkoot might be a little rough. Copy that. The Circleville is, we've been in that town a lot. Yeah, I came in this morning from my uh, joke booth and uh, yeah, that's not ideal. <laughs> Although this ain't ideal here either. Look how pretty that tree is. Oh like yeah, real quick. it's an Easter tree. Easter tree. Oh. Yeah, and tell them uh, radar confirmed debris. On that one? Yep. That's the, other, the secondary one I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, but you for. have to cross the Ohio River. Well, I have a, I have a path to that one. Okay. Can we get... Copy that. I have a path to get in front of that one, too, if this one seems to not be doing anything. Tell them it's radar confirmed debris. Radar confirmed debris on that one. Keep an eye on this one as we're driving out here and see if it's cycling or dying. I'm looking. It's still tight. It's tightening up. It is. We we gotta we gotta uh, keep an eye on that. It's really tightening up. This one. Oh. Looks like ours is starting to really tighten up again. It's tightening. That's gonna be a big one. Oh, yeah. Um, Are we in a good place or not so good place? We'll have to be very wary of it. When we get out here, I'll start looking to make sure we can get out of its way if we need to. It's heading northeast, so we are okay. Okay. Let's see. What is the hole in that for? Like there's clearing right in front of it. I don't know. That I don't know. So sure. weird. going all by itself. That is our storm. What? That one. You don't think this one's going to kill it or anything? Or... No, look how messy that is. I see that. That one, look at that. As long as it's got, a, got somewhere to get fuel, though. Oh, jeez. One of those she didn't tell me to turn left. Continue on Ohio <laughs> 774 West for three miles. That's cruising along with a straight road ahead of me, and my GPS never said turn. I just happened to look up and see the sign that said 774. <laughs> Is it to get down across the river? I'll figure that out once we get like stopped here. Cynthiana. I'll look. Okay. I'll put Cynthiana it in. It was an hour and a half to Cynthiana, which is a long way, but well, that was way south. Well, unfortunately, that storm's going to be just north of Cynthiana in an hour. broke up, what'd it say? Alright. 
anybody that's watching us, we are going straight south of Cincinnati right now in between two tornado worn storms. We're going to see what we can get on. They both look pretty good right now. Well, actually, the northern one dropped its tornado warning, but I think it's cycling because it's starting to wrap up again. The couplet's getting tight. It's a lot bigger than the southern storm. But the southern storm, that's what I just... Yep, that's what we're doing. We're telling our live that right now. The southern storm has radar confirmed debris in the air, so uh, it's doing some damage. But that's an hour and a half to get to that one, and it's only like another 20 minutes to get south of this one. We want to be south of the storm so we can watch it go by. You don't want to be right in the path of the tornado. That's not a good thing. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, we're only like a minute from where we were going to try to sit and see what it looks like here. So we'll, we go around this corner and then have a pretty open view. And a lot of times storms tend to make right turns. In half a mile, turn right onto Yankee Town Road. So we definitely want to make sure that we are good south of it. And But down here, you have a lot of open fields, as you can see. So we can see it from a far distance. Man, that one in Kentucky, though, that one looks really bad. Yeah, we keep doing some Take figuring on how long it's going to be to get there. Oh, is this wow, is this road? tight? This is, is this a road? Continue on Yankee Town Road for three quarters of a mile. Uh, um, we're going to be looking right at trees. What? <sighs> what? It's picked a point instead of where I said I wanted to go. Oh. What the, how did that happen? I wouldn't be surprised if this one gets warned again. Tornado warned. Uh, what am I doing? What am I Chris doing? Hall's right in front of that one in Kentucky. My GPS goofed up again here. Give me a second. Uh, we're, we turned somewhere I didn't want to be turning. That's what I just said. Awesome. Oh my God. We drove pet right past where I wanted to sit. Uh, We're now uh, five minutes from it again. <laughs> I wonder if you could just turn around in someone's driveway. Hey, and it's really bad too because it looks like it's... What? He keeps on cutting off. Continue on Yankee Town Road for three quarters of a mile. All right, th that place, we drove right past where I wanted to stop at, so we're going to get back to it here. Whenever I yep. put it in, it, warned again. It, picked a, a, it picked the town, the middle of the township instead of the spot I put on the map. Did you hear me? Yeah. Tornado warning in, what town do we have here? Union? Rising sun. Are we okay? We're in a good area here. This as long as I get to somewhere we can see. Yes. All right. There's a nice little big gravel spot right there, surrounded by trees. Yeah. Tell them it in went tornado mile, warned. Right onto Our storm went tornado warned again. Logan, did I catch you right? You said you're on that one too. Right 
onto Liming Van Thompson Road. I thought he was north of Cincinnati. <laughs> oh, he made a big circle. Is this the road we were on? I right. no, it was not the one we were on. But we're gonna end up right back there. Okay. So if anyone's watching, um, right. I'm done. there is a tornado warning just to our west. It's coming right at us. We want to get a little bit, uh, just a little bit further south. If you're new here, make sure you like Ooh, this video, subscribe to our here. page, <laughs> and hit that notification bell so you know when we go live. We appreciate all the support. That means everything to us right now. We need to get our subs up. Let's make a goal of 500 today. Can we get that? Can we get a goal of 500? Yeah, right? 500 subscription would be awesome if we could get to that today. But that is kind of right at us. So share with your friends, family, share with the mailman, share, share, share with, I don't know, your dogs, your cats. Make sure you share, 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 share. And have them subscribe. <coughs> we really appreciate everybody watching today and coming along with us and all of your support. Closer to that storm. Let's see what we're doing here. Take the next right onto Bethel New Hope Road. So we had to go one more. Slight left onto the I-71 South Ramp. So right now we're jumping on Interstate 71. Should I go South. that way? Yeah, you said you want to go a little further. Yeah, because they've the warning is actually coming straight east. Alright, this is east and we're heading now. So. Continue on Bethel New Hope Road for one oh, and a half. I thought miles. we were gonna get south. Well I had that spot picked out. We'll sit there for a second. Okay. Look, kids, Big Ben Parkway. Yeah, right. Apologize for that circle there, Davey. That was, yeah, definitely a, just a GPS glitch. What did Ann call it? Bimbo in a box? Bimbo in a box, yep. That's all right. I needed a fun merry-go-round experience for the day. <laughs> Circus. All right, we're not too, too, too far from you guys now. We just jumped on Interstate 71. We're going to try to get back down to Washington Courthouse, wait for the storm to come. Because, like I said, we were supposed to get down on that road, but... In a quarter mile, take it. Well, you made really good time, bud. We went that far out of the way. Yeah, it's crazy. That we're actually going to be turning east again. <laughs> God. Take the next left onto Ohio 774 East. Let's read Look, kids, Big Ben Parliament. Tornado and half dollar sized hail on this storm. Alright, everybody, let's get. We're gonna get to a place we can kind of see some stuff. Hopefully. We blew right by this spot earlier. So, the tornado we're on, if anybody watching in any of these areas, Covington, Florence, Independence, Erlanger, 
Edgewood, Alexandria, Ellesmere, Highland Heights, Taylor Press. Mill, Fort Wright, Crestview Hills, Rising Sun, Oak Brook. Look where we are at the intersection, I blew. Oh. Through. Oh. <laughs> Literally where I was going to sit. Claryville, right Burlington, Union, Wilder, Silver Grove, Cold Spring, and Ryland Heights. Take shelter now. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. All right, so this is... That is in Kentucky. Uh, Lord, Lord, Lord. This road up here to the left is the road I was looking for. We're going to see... Yeah, this intersection was where I was trying to come to. Is there anywhere to pull on this road, though? Ugh. Not ideal, though. Maybe that farm up there? That's what I was thinking. I'm going to look maybe just a little bit further south or west here. Because it looks like it might be coming right at this location. Maybe we do want to go a little southwest. Down toward that Yankee Town or Hammersville. <coughs> oh my goodness. California. Hammersville is northeast of, or northwest of us. Yeah, it's definitely coming close to this location. If anything, it'll pass like literally right in front of us, if anything. Unless it makes a straight right turn. Oh no, it is straight south of us. What in the heck is this thing doing? It's going to be rain wrapped if we can see it. It's already starting to precip here. So, probably further south would be better, you know? Yeah. This is that stuff that I thought was going to take, it, take it away from it. Although, it is going to merge before it gets here. Crap. Merge is not a good thing. I think it's going to get turned linear before it gets to us. Ugh. Can you go straight west? Any roads? That says, look, we're going to run into the river. Pretty sure. That Bethel. quickly down to Georgetown. Okay. You want to close that gap a little bit? Yep. How far is Bethel? Let's see if I can find like an open area in Bethel. Ten minutes. It's only ten minutes.
Oh, 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 a lot of trees. A lot of trees in that town. Yeah, that's what I was trying to look for to get around for an open area. Down more towards that Yankee. That's what I was looking at that Friendly Meadows golf course. I'm going to throw that in. Let's go to there. Okay. It's closed now, anyhow. It's only nine minutes. All right, let's go. All right. Head south. Does that mean turn around? What's that? We have to turn around? Yeah. I think we're going to head down closer to that Bethel and try to get in the inflow of this thing. Um, there's a golf course that has an open view to the like northwest. Alright, sounds good. We're just starting to get into these storms now. We're on some very back roads trying to make our way down to, I believe it was Williamsport. Or it's halfway between Washington Courthouse and Circleville. And then we can follow the road Circleville through Circleville back up towards Lancaster to the northeast, back east of Columbus. Gotcha. Take the next right onto Ohio 774 West. Look, kids, Big Ben, Parliament. In half a mile, slip right onto Starling Road. Pretty sure we're going right back in the same area as we just came from. <laughs> Storm chasing, gotta love it. Yeah, that... That storm in Newcastle, Kentucky. I think it's the storm that is just south of us. The next right onto Starling Road. The issue with that, though, is the rivers between us. The storm we're on now and the, that storm. It looked really bad. It was. It had some really strong rotation on it. Um, we're gonna but, get into this. What this stuff that's coming up to merge with this one too. It's gonna get messy in here. Like, the view's gonna suck because of this precip we're going into. Do we wanna try to get in here or do we wanna try to get down to the south? I mean, so we, they said this was only 10, not even 10 minutes. They dropped the warning on the southern one. Did they? Yep. Looks like this one's gonna get messy. Looks like it's gonna merge with this one coming up from the south. I don't know. We'll keep going and take a look where that place I picked, and if not, then we can boogie south east and try to get ahead of all this mess. I mean, that one down there might be cycling. I probably should have put my camera on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that myself. Is In a quarter mile, turn left onto Liming Van Thompson Road. I don't even know where you'd cross the river at to get out ahead of Aberdeen. it. Aberdeen. I that already have in my head. Like I'd get, just get back out on that 68 to 62 and cross Take Aberdeen. Take the next left onto Liming Van Thompson Road. In Ohio, right? Oh, uh, I think Aberdeen was the Ohio side. Okay. I forget what the... 41 minutes. I, w I don't even know if we could get there. Yeah. Is that the Aberdeen? Yeah, 41 well, minutes. Continue oh, climbing Van Thompson Road for three miles. We'll have to see what we can do. Yeah, this is that good, the thing that's coming to, to merge with it. We got eyes on our storm just west of us that's coming across 71. It's elevated, so if we're going to see a tornado. We're going to have a real good chance of seeing one if there are one forms. <laughs> you watch. You'll find it just to get ahead of the thing. It's kind of 
southeast of it. Right now we're going to be almost running into it. I think this one's going out for a dominant now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Frustration, frustration, frustration. What's it looking like? What you're... Um, I can't tell if it's cycling again. Ugh. It could be. I mean, it's still got rotation for sure. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Yeah, it's got a heck of a lot of rotation. There's some... coming south on 71, right? Yeah. Like he, like he said, he was heading towards Circleville. I'm not seeing him on maps. said they were going to drop south. All right. They got eyes on their storm. I mean, we obviously have eyes on ours because we're under right it. Yankeetown Road. Right now. Just trying to get in towards where the circulation actually is. I'm pretty sure we came that way. <laughs> Continue on oh, Yankeetown no Road for three quarters of a mile. so dark outside. Five west. Nope, it's still there. <sighs> don't worry, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'd rather it be on than to lose it while we're trying to move. Maybe if we stop it. As long as you can read the stuff. Oh, I think it is going out flow dominant. I think, I think. What's up? Half a mile, turn right. Yo, 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 hi to yo. Take the next I'm right, hoping this thing right. is cycling again. Oh, this is our golf course right here. Take it. It's a random golf cart. We're looking northwest right now, so there's a car here. Feet, turn right. There's a few cars Take here. Take the yeah. next right, then your destination will be on the left. Just turn around and this is gonna pull out the end of the road. Yep. Oh, 
There you can see the Your lowering, is on the, the left. base of the storm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pull right down here. I mean, this is, we're not bothering anything sitting here, I don't think. I can move them to the side window then. Ah, uh, we're looking straight west, actually. So even just turning this that way a little bit is looking the right way. I mean, I'm down a little bit here. Figured this isn't a bad spot for now. Just to, uh, I'm looking there. It might be going out flow dominant. It is still rotating though. Good day. Really? You think <laughs> it's going out flow? I'm going to look again here while I'm sitting still for a minute. That stuff is not merging. I mean, this stuff might get ahead of it. And hopefully it doesn't... We won't be able to see past this. This is what we're looking at. Yeah, we we can't go much... Yeah, true. We can't go much further at west or anything. We'll run into the river. And I'm, the, the terrain looks I'm crappy. Yeah, right? I don't feel like being a Mexican today. No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> They are. They're they're pushing hard across that sky. It's actually getting another little weird hook there on the back. I end know it is. A, I, told you, I told you I think it was Taylor cycling Mill. because it's wrapping up again. I told David, I swore to him that I was gonna do this. Hello! <laughs> 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 That's awesome. <laughs> Wait until the uh, twister. Yeah. Over in Pennsylvania. Yeah. I'm wearing this. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. We got cows. I might throw my kestrel up just for a minute. I'll get to throw my camera up before it gets too. Is there, is there a road to go straight north from here? Not back to Mount Oreb. We're in a mezzo scale. The rotation's gonna be pretty far north. Is it? Yep. So. Well, we're south of 70. Yeah, we are. Huh. So it's going to be everywhere. Yeah. Destiny, we are in Hammersville, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Tornado sirens. Tornado sirens. Read that mesoscale discussion. Got tornado sirens. Yep, we got tornado sirens. Did they reissue something that we're missing? Unfortunately, we 
unfortunately, I'm going to get a chance for anything right now. We're trying to stay ahead of this thing. It's like right on our bumper right now. And we're not even to our car yet. Half a mile, half a mile. I'm here. You still have rotation on it. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. I know how to move the door. Okay. Are they still going off? Yeah. This has not been warned yet. Alright, we'll be right back, guys. Let's keep an eye on that sky. Huh? Okay, sorry guys.
even more up by getting the Bethel and maybe even a little point towards that Williamsburg. Just to get out of this so we can see better. Yeah. How fast is it? Woo! Fast. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello. What are you doing, Dor? Back up towards Mount Oreb. Listen to that thunder. Yep. I think you need to get your Kestrel down and we need to go. Yeah, we need to figure out where we want to go. I think we need to go a little more north. I agree. But if we go to Mount Oreb, that's where all... The, there's a ton of precip there. Yeah. I, I'm thinking just a little bit north. Okay. Oh. Oh. Your window's down. Oh, shit. Let's get out of this guy's way. Here I am enjoying the view and my window's up. Where do you think we should get to? I think I think our view's going to be right here. Maybe a little bit north of... of we just, my screen's got water all over it. Yeah, if we could get this little bit of stuff to pass by. Just look, is there anything kind of straight north of here, a road? And according to my arrow, we're looking at that storm right yep. in front of us. Yes, we are. Probably back to where we came from. That intersection again. Or just off to our right, anyways. All right, let's let's. What do you think about heading back to that intersection where we were looking last time? I think that actually is going to be a good spot to watch. Hey, when you're done with that storm in Cincinnati, can you kind of push it northeast towards us? We're just coming now into um, Circleville, and we want that storm to come to us next. So right now, we're kind of just getting a crappy mess. <laughs> What do you think, Davey? Back to where we were and watch that. I think we'll be a little better spot for seeing it coming. Yeah, I would. Especially with the wording of the new mesoscale uh, discussion, yeah, I probably would. Especially if they really are going to extend that tornado watch to central and northern Ohio and eastern Ohio. Okay, yeah, we'll get up there and see what we can see. Okay, it's time for a sweatshirt. Once you get a little wet, it's cold. Yeah, I got a lot wet. Wind definitely picked up, I know that. Yeah, for sure. Get in a position to see where this thing's going. We've been on this Yankee Continue Town Road a lot. Road for two miles. Okay, okay. Back to 
to anyways. That intersection at that Route 1. That, Up near Mount Oreb? Uh, not quite even that far, I don't think. I mean, yeah, we're like way behind this thing now. I wouldn't say we're way behind it. The rotation's still off to our west. Yeah. Right now, I'm just trying to get back to that intersection where we stopped last time, but was where it was wide open. Yeah. And see if we can see anything there. This thing started moving more northeast again yeah, instead of straight east. You know, like you, you want to get north. Yeah, you want we. we that's where I'm, I mean, I'm heading somewhat north. Just keep on that 774 once we get up there. Oh, we keep losing him. Yep, and that's always going to be your best bet for it being able to see anything because that's going to be your clearest air. We're, stre we're heading kind of straight east. We need this stuff to pass by. Oh, well, yeah. Well, you you have better chance. I can't really look at maps. Um, seven, seven, four, once we get on it. If we st it'll get us kind of north, too, won't it? Doesn't it kind of zigzags its way up back north to out to 60, 68 was? Exactly right. Turn left onto Ohio 774 East. 774 will go straight north. Plus, it never ended up getting affected with all that moisture that we're in right now either, so. Yeah, it seems like that didn't do anything but feed into it. We're heading northeast out of Circleville right now. We're going to head towards Amanda and Lancaster. The storm behind us just went severe warning again, so we're going to try to get ahead of it because it's pouring down right, right now. Take the next left onto Ohio 774 East. Oh my. So this, oh. this stuff came in from the south, like it's a feeder band that just came in, so yeah. we're going to try to get out ahead of it and get some pictures, like maybe towards Amanda or Lancaster. And yeah, I did see that. Continue it. on Ohio 774 East. Dogs and 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 dogs. All right, just be careful up there. Uh, be that road network oh. up there between Lancaster and Circleville, Hawking Hills, bad area. And she's got I me. Mean, I don't know what else to do. We're, we can't get further. We can't get further south or west. All right, yeah, just be careful. Try to stay to the south of the storms. Don't get in front of them. Are we getting a better view now? Oh, I mean, it definitely, I can see way better over that way. Well, or, that's our storm. Yeah, it is our storm. Hi, Ann. <laughs> Behind us in the car. Yeah, since you're moving northeast, that's what we're trying to do. We're kind of trying to stay with them, but they're going to be north of us, so I think we're at a good point now. Yeah, I know it's going to get crappy north and then east of here, but... I don't know what else to do. We're kind of getting into some bad area here. We weren't able to get down to Cincinnati or even off the quick enough. Gotcha. Well, the storm we're on, Josh, after you're done with the storm you're on, I'm thinking it's going to pretty much track probably if you drop south, you can get on it. But as we're getting on it also, because you're going to get some. Should we just keep moving up? Instead of stopping up here, just get back out and go up 68. That rotation is moving yeah, much more. Is those track towards Chilicoff, and I know what you much more what? Northeast. Northeast. Yeah. Yeah. Northeast. Back up towards that Fayetteville. Yep. So, unfortunately, if we can't. There's a bunch of chases there. Where we are because it's keeping some bad terrain. I never would have thought we came too far west, south. And then draw straight south, and we'll still be ahead of it. and back up towards Fayetteville and Mount Oreb. Maybe even try to get a little bit east. I'd get... I would go, like, yeah, further north than Mount Oreb. Can... 
look on the track there, deer, and see if you can get something a little northeast. Because I think if we go straight north, we're going to get behind it. You know what I mean? It's almost getting to us now. Pull back there. Oh, some nice CG over here on the left again. I mean, we should be seeing it. It's over here. It's over here. Yeah, it got a little further than I thought north, you know. Maybe we will try to get a little bit north. And then probably over towards that new market, huh? He said that over towards the new market was a lot of open area. Your destination will be on the right. Yep, you can figure out a road. It's taken me up through Your Buford. Your is watching. Up through Buford around Mount Horeb. He uh, said Horeb. 30 minutes. Well, if you have that, I'll keep an eye on the uh, radar. What, what did I tell you the town we were taking us through? Butler or something. Something over to Newmarket. Yeah. I put in Newmarket as a target now. That should keep us right in a northeast track with this. rotating just to our south. Coming this way? Yep. Is new market What's well, bad? It's actually still going to be south of us. No, this this storm that we're looking at, that we're going after, just got a tornado signature. Did it? Yep. Oh, it looks like it's wrapping up again. Yep. But this one is too. And that's, we're right between both storms. I wish we could get in a clear area so we can get an eye on both of them, but I don't know where that would be. Looks like it's starting to slow up where we're at. Some guys that are just south of Fayetteville are in a good spot, but they're gonna also get run over. really poor service. I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep on moving for now. Maybe I'm just going to keep on moving northeast a little bit, try to get a little bit ahead of it again and a little closer this time. We do got to watch for a right turn though again. Hey, you're welcome to come meet us in Kingston. It's coming right out Kingston. <laughs> I mean, you get ahead of it. You get moving, get up here. We might be able to get some pods out of it coming in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's definitely starting to wrap up right now near Owensville. <laughs> but we're heading for Kingston right now. We're trying to get out of this train. I think it's a quarter mile. Continue straight onto Oakland Road. 
tornado signal. Look at that. It's wrapping up again. Where are we, Dad? Would make. There's us. That is going to go just to our north, right here in Mount Oreb. Continue straight onto Oakland Road. So okay. if you go north, you're yeah. gonna you're gonna get run over, or you're gonna be. It, I'm, it's making me go straight right here still. But to go to Newmarket, you mean? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to go to Newmarket now. The well, rotation is just to our north. Well, how about we'll go over here somewhere? Okay. And if it starts turning too much north, continue we'll... on Oakland Road for two miles. Is that a new rotation or something? Yes. Which way is that moving to? It's not even, wait, it's not even warned? How is that storm not warned? Are you on storm relative rotation or? They completely took the warning off the storm. They, they're gonna have to reissue that. Yeah, I just thought the same thing. The warning on it, but it makes no sense. <laughs> Did he hear me? Yeah, he's, he's, I think. Oh, you're watching the live? I think they're watching our live. <laughs> they're going to have to, oh, they're going to have to reissue that. We got a heck of a view. It's clear right now. Like, it's got to be, I see a lowering now, start. So, if you go just to the velocity, it is ramping up. If you go to the storm relative velocity, it looks like that. That literally is going to, the track of it is going to be just to our north. So we, let's find somewhere Yes. open, but yes. we don't want to go any further north right at the moment, right? Yes. Okay. So these, look at these fields out here that we're coming to. Yeah, that's what we're thinking too. Maybe just right in here somewhere or something. There is that mud pit. There's we're, trees on the other we're side. We're about in the clear area here, so I cannot believe they drop the warning on this. Is that, what's this right here off to the left? Is this some kind of a little parking area? That's what it looks like. What is... Oh my. What is the... Let's there, take it. Is there a sign that says no truck stops or anything? There's nothing. There you go, guys. You can see the base. It's dry here. Look over here. I don't think we're looking even the right way. We're looking straight north right now. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I thought we were going straight north on that road. No, that we were going straight east the whole time. Okay. Why? Is... Our rotation's going to be right over here somewhere. You might want to, if you're going to, I don't know, recording now would be a good thing or not. Still raining just a little bit. There is such a clear area in between those two storms. This one just got rewarned severe, but they dropped the severe warning on this. I don't understand. Two inch hail? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Lord. I just don't even know. Yeah, the rotation is coming over that Batavia right now. Right. And it's ramping back up. Right. It might even actually be back here more. I'll turn you guys. You want me? You want me to get out and get my camera? Because it lo doesn't look like we're gonna get any rain. I will do that. Yeah, I think oh, you're, you feel that inflow. I think you're good. Yeah.
throwing my hoodie on. All right, guys, we're gonna get you out here in a second. Put you on the lot on the good camera. Connie's trying to get some some video here. We're in the inflow of this thing, and it's ramping back up. So we're gonna see if we can see anything with it, and then we're probably gonna try to keep with it a little bit. We'll get you out here. How's my battery on that? I'll let it record for a little bit longer, unless we're gonna get real wet. If you're watching on the screen there, rotation is going to be just to kind of in that dark area just to the left of the screen. So, Connie's see Connie out there trying to shoot some stuff here. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on things here and make sure that nothing goes south. I can. All right, gonna give you out to Connie here. I had to throw my sweatshirt on. Got to get a little bit of blue. Yeah. I see, I can see clear sky underneath that page. Yep. And I can try my drone. Be able to see up over those trees a little bit. The one to our south just went tornado one. Oh, uh, kidding me? That's over that one. Hi, Kat. We are in Bob Orum, Ohio. I haven't looked at radar lately. Is it That's still like wrapping it. up? It is. But Thanks, it's Wendy. Wait, the one north of it? Yeah. Which? Try right now. Oh, of course. That's the one Josh was going to try to get to. Yeah. Look, Look at how the ripping I can't up here. I believe how much that's ripping into that. I mean, there's your base. If right? it's going to do something, it's over there. I could try right. to put a drone up. I thought I heard sirens again. Yep. Yeah. Tornado sirens, guys. Trying maybe this way just a little bit. It's starting to tighten up right over Williamsburg right now. 
Where's that? Straight, uh, just north of the straight west. So where we're looking? Yeah, it's got to be right there. Where we're looking Probably at. over those trees where that bait, where the clearing is. See the yeah. skies. far is that? Um, we wouldn't catch it by West Union, I don't think. McDermott would be a good... We are just north of the tornado warning, Cat. But this storm that is just to our north is rotating. Yep. Tornado, tornado sirens. sirens. That would be in Mount Orob. Not hailing. Nope, no hail here. We are south of the storm. We're not in the hail core. McDermott's <laughs> only is an hour straight east, and that's where the one south of us will be going towards. I don't know. I have a feeling I can't about this one. How much that, that I have a feeling about this. I'm watching it really close. Even if it makes a right turn. What's that? Now, I mean, what is that? Is that a funnel coming down? You thinking? Be ahead of that rotation. It is, it's getting real tight. Oh, there's a notch. There's a notch over Williamsburg. It's got to be right there. Oh, it's right below. You can see. Hat. I don't know if I'm, I can try my drive. I don't know what those winds are going to do. Is there any view past those trees? Is there any view past those trees? My adrenaline's not real high yet. I'm gonna look. But we're right between two rotating storms. The one to our south is tornado warned. I don't know why this one is not. There is a big time lowering behind that barn. Do you see it? Yeah. Big time lowering behind that barn. I see that. Is there any way we can get to that? Oh my god, there's a huge field. There's a funnel right there. Yep, there's a funnel. Let me zoom in. Take you off here. Sorry that the camera view's bad. I gotta get this in here.